up these, these episodes, uh, episodes yeah. yeah impressive yeah can't believe it yeah yeah <laughs> it even seems like it was only yesterday that i was sitting over there yeah wearing this exact same t-shirt but do not be fooled a significant amount of time has actually passed yeah uh, we're just really scratchy and we don't ever change our clothes yeah that's totally yeah. what it is it's not like we're being efficient and <laughs> trying to film multiple things at once no it, um, it's, we are now in fact in different seasons yeah it's actually um a different year entirely as well yeah we're in the year 2025 right now yeah and uh, which leads us you nicely can tell, you can tell actually because he's playing a different guitar now and yeah. obviously that says it all <laughs> which leads us nicely to the uh, Doctor Scientist Bit Quest. Indeed. Which is the pedal which we guarantee will be the sound of 2025. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though everyone watching this will be in like 2095. Yeah. <laughs> by the time we. <laughs> 2090. Yeah. By the time we actually edit them down and get them. Well, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Um, so this is an, a very involved pedal. Um, and uh, yeah, it comes with a rather detailed cheat sheet uh, specifying all the various different functions of each knob uh, in each setting because they all do a different thing in a different mode. Mm -hmm. So it's very complicated and you basically need to carry this around with you for at least, well, I, I think it'd be weeks and weeks of solid playing before you finally got it like in your <laughs> head, like exactly what each one does. Um, so yeah, let's yeah. get into it. A lot um, of value for money. Oh, you know, it's immense yeah. value for money. It's ridiculous. Cool. So, so there are uh, two significant um, sides to this pedal. You've got clean and fuzz. So the fuzz is more of a um, obviously a gainier version of all of the other modes, but then it also influences each mode as well, depending on which side you're using. So. Uh, let's turn it on first of all. We're in the clean side and uh, we're currently on the first mode, which is flanger. So then we've got control, uh, where are we? Control zero here, control one and control two. These are all basically going to be affecting, let's turn the mix and volume up a little bit. Uh, these are gonna be controlling the feedback, the rate and the delay time. So, uh, yeah, try playing some stuff. Okay. So you've got a nice, pretty basic flanger kind of sound yeah, going that's on there. lovely. You just play stuff and I'll tweak. Okay. That's a really nice kind of uh, flanger. It's a isn't great it? sounding yeah. flanger. That. It's not over the top. It's nice and uh, subtle. Indeed. 
So uh, the next setting is basically a high pass and low pass filter. So you've got uh, this one mode. This mode gives you resonance. Uh, and this is the low pass, this is the high pass. So yeah, the resonance knob here. Choose again, play some stuff. Okay. And then... but you're controlling mm. like all of the various aspects of like the cue and the um, sweep and everything like yeah. manually. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got you. So it's, it's like a, almost like a parametric EQ kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's like an extreme sort of yeah. Yeah, filter for all that kind of stuff. Oh. So <laughs> yeah, listen to that. Move, moving on swiftly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of that one. It's a sound. Yeah. It's a sound. <laughs> Somebody somewhere will, will find a use for it. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every sound has its use. Um, so the next one is fun. This is the bit crusher. Okay. So this gives you modulation, uh, bit depth, and yeah. the sample rate. So again, take it away. Oh, great. <laughs> Question. Go on. Can this be used with an expression pedal at all? It can. Oh, I don't know. There is another uh, input on the side here. Because that that would sound amazing if you had some way of manually sort of controlling that's that while you're playing. That's a good question. Yeah. I'm not sure on that. I only brought the one. There is a whole that would, manual yeah. that comes with this, but it also came with this useful guide as well. Actually, I'll hold this up in case anyone here needs to have a quick reference so feel free to pause the video and uh, if you can see it save that yeah <laughs> i don't know how close you need to get to take all that in it's wide angle lens yeah yeah but uh, yeah <laughs> the gain side of this also adds a whole lot of interesting aspects oh, to dear, these dear, sounds. Dear. So yeah, we're going to have to uh, yeah. come, back, come, come back to that sound for that riff. Uh, moving on, the next uh, setting, where are we? Is reverb. Oh, so reverb. Moving, away from, uh, moving away from a more uh, weird sound to a more traditional kind of a sound. So, okay. Whoa. So reverb, we have uh, pre-delay, decay time, and modulation here. So pre delay, let's turn that up a little bit. Got, okay. That's quite nice. I like, just I just touched the strings. It's like a swell yeah. thing, like an auto swell. <laughs>
yeah, yeah, sorry. That will just keep going, otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Don't apologise. Carry on. That that was that was amazing. That's pretty cool. I do like that sound. <laughs> Nice reverb in it. Yeah, that's that's really nice. It's a really yeah. good uh, sound sounding reverb. Um, okay, the next one, notch filter. Okay. So this is a this is basically now envelope. So that's, that's like not- a very narrow kind of pulling out of certain frequencies. Yeah. Right? So you got yeah envelope there, notch frequency, and then notch Q. Okay. Subtle though that is. It is, yeah. yeah. So you can turn the mix up more. Yeah, yeah, this is where it starts to get more crazy. Uh, The next mode is ring modulation. Oh dear. Yeah, so the ring mod. Oh, what the? Yeah, (laughs) yeah, told you. Uh, So here now we have the modulation, (laughs) the ring frequency, and we also have a reverb you can add (laughs) onto it as well. So uh, yeah, try and play something with this. Okay. um... Try and figure something out. Yeah. If next um, does dog starts barking, well, yeah, then you'll know <laughs> yeah, why. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next one is uh, pitch shift. Okay. So this is pretty decent. Oh. So here we go. This is pitch. This is pitch one. This is the mix, and this is pitch two. So uh, pitch one. If I turn that up, and you play. <laughs> Is going. <laughs> so you're adjusting the pitch of. Um, oh, I'm not sure if this is a, a pitch up and a pitch down that you're controlling, or if, it's, or if one is a pitch uh, one octave and the other is a pitch two octaves, uh, or what? It sounds so, like it, maybe. So if I do, um, say, if the control one is a mix between the two. So I think between. Let's roll that one off. Okay, play some it. <laughs> This is a frightening pedal. <laughs> like my brain is telling me what notes should be coming out of the guitar. Yes. And, and something and nothing else entirely is... different. Okay, is so I've, I think I've got this. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm messing with the wrong knob. I've got. Uh, so yeah, you've got pitch one and pitch two there. Um, yeah, so they both do the same thing, but you 
basically can add the two pitch effects together. So imagine if you've got two whammies. Oh, okay. Right. And then like a blend knob between And they're both the two. doing different things. So you can have one set to doing one thing and the other one set to doing the other thing. You can blend something between the two of them and then you've also got the mix knob for your clean signal so you can blend that blend into oh, your dear, clean. Man. So there's a, yeah. There's it's, a lot of blending. There's a lot there. of blending. <laughs> That's more like a chorus. He does, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's basically what, that's essentially what a chorus is. It's um, yeah. Actually, no, it's not. No, a chorus is a delay and a clean. No, it's not. No, a chorus is a vibrato and clean blended together. I thought a chorus was what came after a verse. <laughs> It's close, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm not playing no, that 100%. No, no that's either. a very usable um, imitation, though. <laughs> um, yeah, so essentially you've got the... Uh, yeah, both of these pitch knobs are doing uh, similar... Th are capable of doing the same thing. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's not like one is doing a higher octave than the other. They're both equal in that sense, but you can blend between them, which is really interesting. Um, so, yeah, um, let's move on. Delay is the next one. So move up to there then we have on this one we have gain sorry no the control zero knob is now the modulation so that's interesting we can have a modulated delay mm -hmm. and then control one is delay time and control two is the number of repeats so again let's uh, give this a go let's dial the <laughs> good grief <laughs> <laughs> let's have no modulation to start with Sorry, I'm messing with it while you're I shouldn't mess with it while you're playing. Go on. That's a nice usable kind of delay, yeah. isn't it? You can have a lot of repeats on this, so oh, okay. I've dialed the uh, number of repeats off, so try again. Yeah. Seems to work in reverse. It's like the, oh, okay. the further left you go, the more repeats, the huh. more delay, the time, the more delay time. Oh, that's, that's unusual. Yeah. I was trying to figure that out then. Like, why is that Why is that doing that? Oh, that's like a so that, that, now you've got a slap back kind of a thing. It's quite harsh, isn't it? That? Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, that's. I can dial the tone knob as well back, so I've got that quite bright at the moment, so if I darken it a bit. Or, um... Yeah. <laughs> It'd help if I, pr I actually practice some of these riffs before Beforehand. we shot this. Yeah. But, uh, no, it's, it's all part of the realism. <laughs> it so is. everyone knows, like, um, oh, these guys are for real. Yeah. <laughs> so that's basically uh, the clean mode. That's all of the modes in the clean 
side of of this pedal to put it into when you put it into fuzz um the fuzz side um you basically it doesn't immediately change from the setting that you're in so you have to uh put it into fuzz first of all i'm going to turn the volume way down because it gets a lot louder oh dear. um and then it only changes to fuzz when you actually change the mode knob so let's go back to the beginning back to flanger this time the the uh Gain, we're we're not exor ignoring control zero uh, on this marking, and it's now gain. So we've got the gain knob is going to be uh, always the gain knob in every single one of these modes. So only control one and control two will actually be um, affecting mm -hmm. affecting the uh, the sound as much as before. So let's turn the gain up a bit. So if you want to play something. That's a pretty aggressive kind of distortion. It is. Uh, I'll turn the flanger level down a bit and carry on. So yeah, it's a pretty decent sounding flanger and game. I would sound good for a shredding kind of a yeah. 80s shredding kind of a thing <laughs> yeah. this is uh, the high pass low pass filter again so yeah try, try. Oh, oh dear so, again this is a, a huge <laughs> EQ kind of a yeah. adjustment. Oh, uh, so let's move on. That's enough of that. I think <laughs> the um, <laughs> bit crusher I want to get into. The bit okay, crusher yeah. in the... the drive section is um, we have bit depth and the sample rate. So it's the same as in the clean mode. These two knobs. So carry on. <laughs> Whatever note you play, it sounds the same. <laughs> For sure, we're not going to get any uh, copyright claims or no. <laughs> playing any yeah, unsolicited uh, riffs. music. Yeah. No, yeah. that's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I doubt even the per uh, the origi original <laughs> artists are going to watch this and recognise their, uh, their own songs yeah. at this point. Uh, okay, again, moving on. Reverb. So again, more of a normal, usable perhaps. <laughs> So yeah, again we've got uh, decay time here, and this is a fuzz reverb mix. Oh my life! Now. That's just insane. Yeah. So <laughs> reverb. This is a bit shoegazy. This. Yeah. Reverb. <laughs> Um, 
the next one is Notch Filter. Uh, this is the notch, notch Frequency and Notch Q again. So carry on. <laughs> This is where uh, we go back to what you were playing before with the ring mod, but this time uh, ring frequency and the fuzz ring mix. Oh, right. Oh, what was I playing before? Uh, it was the Nirvana. Oh, yeah. Barely having to touch the strings. It's like it's like, the, it's, like it's playing itself. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Moving on. This is pitch shift again. And pitch. Fuzz pitch mix. So. This is the last one now, delay. So we've got drive, delay. You've got uh, delay, time, and the number of repeats again. So yeah, carry on. <laughs> It's the bit quest. Damn. It's, yeah, a lot of stuff. That is one hell of an interesting pedal. <laughs> there's there's a lot of stuff in there which is totally... I'm going to turn that off. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> okay. so much quieter. See our self thing. <laughs> just enjoy, let's just enjoy that for a minute. All we can hear is the, the hum of but, the amp. Yeah. And the... <laughs> <laughs> the amp breathing a sigh of relief. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff in there which is really cool. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there which is really, really usable. This is the first time you've uh, experienced I've not tried this pedal. This, yeah. this is the first time. Yeah. Really, so uh, yeah, this is a, a perfect reaction video, if anything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. For, for there's a lot of stuff in there which is amazing and sounds incredible. There's a lot of stuff in there which sounds terrible. Um, I but, feel that's, but terrible in like a good way. But I feel like that's up to the user. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, as in a large, um, in a large part, that is uh, entirely yeah. up to you. And that's probably the same for most pedals as well. Like, yeah, you, you yeah, can make yeah. pretty much any pedal sound awful uh, if you try hard enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Um, well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, like we were saying in the the other video about the T one twenty. I think if you're like a kind of a very creative sort of guitarist that likes making a lot of horrible noise and mm -hmm. um you know it's it, this is definitely the pedal for you yeah like the, the problem i i see it is with incredible it, like, it, is a, it does such a lot let's say but in a way that seems to be well for me anyway that's its downside that's the mm -hmm. downside to this pedal is that because it can do so much and you only really have access to obviously one thing at a time picking the thing that you want picking the sound that you want in basically yeah. if, if you're a set and forget kind of a person which i am to be honest uh, i like to have my pedals set up um how i like them and then just leave them alone 
and then if it can do a lot of stuff i like to be able to have presets and to be able to quickly like tap a button to switch that pedal from that sound to the other sound or whatever mm. so the fact that uh, it can do so much is awesome and if you had maybe like a travel board or something um that you basically wanted to have a huge amount of functionality in a pedal but you didn't have many spots free um yeah to pedal and maybe you were just like noodling around at home or maybe you just uh, needed um, a very very specific sound or a couple of sounds for a, a set that you were doing and you didn't mind you know bending down between songs to kind of <laughs> change them um then it's fine then it's it's perfect i'd say for, for that and also with all of the other modulation and other weirdness dialed off i really like the sound of the drive in it yeah it was nice actually it's got a really nice yeah. sounding and what drive. i did like with um the yeah uh, fuzz and the the drive and like was how much ability you have to actually eq it yeah um you could like if you were struggling to, for a solo to be heard during a song mm. you know because of the i don't you've got a very loud band that occupy a lot of frequencies you could really cut through with that oh definitely and that would sound absolutely incredible mm -hmm. like I, I, I could see anyone who bought that it's definitely a keeper because there's just there's just so there are so many applications. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, um, the uh, the the thing that um, I think personally that it has over a lot of other multi modulation, multi effects kind of pedals uh, is the mix knob. So the fact you can blend your clean signal yeah. back in and choose like how much weirdness you want actually going on in your signal. That's a huge selling point. And, uh, and I'm really intrigued by the... I keep forgetting about this other input on the side. I think it might... I don't think it's... A, it's not a tap input. Um, so, yeah, I think it is an expression. Okay. Input. There's so much you could do with that in terms of, like, creative sort of soloing and... Yeah, definitely. Like, just the... the just buy this pedal. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like you, will, you, it's you awesome. can't it go. Awesome. I, don't, I honestly don't think you can go wrong. Yeah, like true. I've, I've not tried this before. It's just it's blown my mind to pieces. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do. I do really like it. I think it's fantastic and it's so well made. Yeah. and it looks incredible as well. It's got such a cool look to it. Uh, and I've seen it on so many people's boards before, and I completely understand why. Uh, yeah, so. So yeah, I'm I'm happy. You happy? Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Let us know again what you uh, thought of it, or if you've uh, thought of any interesting ways of using it, or if you have one and stack it with other pedals, and you know, all the, just let us know how you use it, or how mm -hmm. you would use it, or what you think of it. And... This is a very squeaky chair. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Wants a bit of oil, doesn't it? <laughs> so it's this not me. It? I hope it's not me. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're gonna have a squeak off. <laughs> oh, this this oh. Chair, this totally wins. You've got to put a lot of effort in to get that yeah, to have, squeak yeah. as much as this one. Oh well. Anyway, yeah. But yeah, what a great pedal. Brilliant. I like it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, so awesome. thanks. See you again soon. Thra.